Hey guys, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I am answering a few questions. I don't even know what the hell I'm pointing at. There's nothing over here. I'm answering a few questions uh, that have been asked numerous times on this year 4L60E transmission. This one is out of a 01. Um, yes, 01. Uh, so similar years should be very similar, uh, and other years might be similar as well. But this is going over a few questions that I have been asked over the last few years since having the Shift Solenoid uh, video posted. So we're going to go over those, and here we go. First question. It's going to pertain to the Shift Solenoids. Uh, why are we replacing them? What makes them bad? Stuff like that. Um, and there's more to just replacing the Shift Solenoids when you do it. So if you're replacing the Shift Solenoids, you probably have a problem. Perfect cars, you don't fix all the time. You might be doing it just for a maintenance procedure, and if you are, more power to you. It's hot as hell in California today, and uh, it's hot in here. So, the shift solenoids. There's a few things. If you have, let's say, a very sluggish transmission, or you're saying like, feels like you're towing a lot, or the get up is bad, and you feel that the engine is fine, and it just feels like just something's holding you back. It's a possibility that either one of the shift solenoids don't work. Uh, shift solenoid B uh, controls more of the overall sluggish issue, usually. Um, the shift solenoid A going bad is usually from park to reverse or neutral to drive, something like that. When you go from park or neutral, neutral into a drive gear, uh, you get a really harsh gear. But if you're having a problem with either one, I always recommend just replace both of them while you're in there. Why do a job twice? So when you do replace these, replace the A and the B at the same time, so both shift solenoids, and make sure that you use a GM, uh, both GM uh, AC Delco shift solenoids. Make sure you check in the link, I mean check for a link in the description below uh, to buy those. Every link that you do click and buy from, I do make a percentage off, so I would appreciate if you order from there. I'll do my best to make sure that you get uh, directed in the best way to genuine AC double parts, um, but check below, buy them there. So with the shift solenoid being bad or wanting to be replaced, now we know we're going to do both shift solenoids. So we're going to do A and B. To get to them is really easy. First, you're going to drain the pan. You don't have to have the transmission out of the vehicle to do this job. Uh, it could be in the vehicle. Uh, I just have this one laying around the garage. So perfect to try it out or to do it on. So drain the pan. You're going to take off your pan. To do so, you're going to have to loosen the sit shift linkage. There's a torx on the top side of the transmission. You're going to have to loosen up. Some people bend that shift linkage back. I don't like to do that, but do what you like. Get the pan off. Let it drain out for a little bit just so you're not in a bunch of dripping stuff. Uh, transmission fluid, per se. After it's drained out, stop dripping, a little bit cleaner work area, go ahead and remove the shift solenoids. To remove the shift solenoids, it is very simple. You don't need to remove anything else, pretty much. Your wiring harness could be bad at this time as well, so we're going to check that too while we're in here. But the wiring harness does need to be disconnected. So that's it, got the wiring harness out, disconnected. Now to get your shift solenoids out, it is very, very simple. This clip right here, hopefully you can see that, your retaining clip right here, all you need to do is push in on your solenoid and pop your clip right up. Make sure you don't lose it ahead and pull your shift solenoid right out. See how easy it is? Now at this point, you want to check for this gunk built up at your solenoid right here. That could let you know that you have other problems. One other thing you can check for at this time, if you have a power probe, here's my power probe, I love this thing, is just continuity in the wire. 
You should have ground on both sides if your wire is good. So all I would do is use my power probe. In the link, to de I mean, in the description below, you should be a link to buy one of these if you need one. This one's a cheaper one. I think it's like 70 bucks. But you're just gonna touch right here on both sides. If this vehicle was in the truck or a car, and my power probe is on right, I should get ground on both sides with your wiring harness plugged into the vehicle. Both of these uh, connections should have ground on both sides. That's just letting me know that I have continuity through the wiring harness. Another thing with your solenoids going bad or the symptoms of the solenoid going bad is your wiring harness going bad, causing the shift solenoids not to work properly. So it's always good to just double check that you have continuity in both of these, uh, all four connections in both of these. Which I'll probably keep confusing you. But you want ground in all of them while the sensors are off. As well, if you want to check your shift solenoid, an easy way to do so is to get a nine volt battery, attach wires to the positive and negative, and touch your wires in here, positive and negative. When it does get continuity, from that 9 volt battery, your shift solenoid should click. If you hear the clicking, your shift solenoid is probably good. If you do not hear the clicking, then I would put money on that your shift solenoid is bad. So that's a few things to check already when you go in and replace your shift solenoid. Another thing I always recommend checking or cleaning out replacing while doing this or checking for sluggish issues or harsh shifting, shifting, shifting is getting your shift solenoid valve out, sorry, your shift valve out of here, if I could do so. Getting these shift valves out were actually kind of difficult. Uh, this one's been sitting around and the transmission is pretty much junk from Arrival. Um, this is one I got online and really the went about a thousand miles and went completely. So kind of hard to get the first one out set it here get this back shift valve out or the second shift valve out of the valve body ended up using a zip tie it's nice and limber and it pushed right out you can see that i had to just play with it a little bit wiggle it in and out and it finally just slid right out Check these out, make sure they're nice and clean. You have these out. These are your shift valves. You wanna make sure that these are free of any debris. If you see anything on them, start to suspect something else is going wrong in the transmission. And as well, clean them off. Use mineral spirits, wipe these off really good, make sure there's no debris on them. Stick your finger in here, make sure there's no debris. If these aren't moving due to having debris on them, you also get the same symptoms as a shift solenoid going bad as well. So there's multiple things to look at. Make sure this one's all clean. You're gonna do the same thing to the next shift solenoid. To reinstall, super easy. Press it in, not too hard, just firm. Done. Make sure it moves freely. Go ahead and move on to the next one. This one, push in. Bring it up. This one does have a spring behind it. So set your shift cylinder off to the side. Your spacer. And this one if you use air make sure your gun is set to 40 psi or your air so here's the spring make sure this is all free of debris stick it back in and the same way you took it out, this one's really dirty actually, you can see all the metal on this one, pretty bad. Your shift valve is going to go in the spring, 
Make sure it moves back and forth. You got your spacer. Jam that back in there. You're gonna hold it. Push everything in gently, nice and firm. Put your clip back on. And that's it for your ship, ship solenoids, both A and B. Make sure you check your wiring harness for ground. That's just a quick, easy check. That doesn't mean it's completely good, but it's a good, relative, easy check. I would usually call it good at that time uh, for this issue if you do have the ground. You can check the shift solenoids with your 9 volt battery. And that's it on shift solenoid A and B. Should answer a lot of questions that have been asked about this. Hopefully I will put this on the comment section of my other video. I'm not sure. But remember to like, subscribe, and share. If I didn't answer any questions or give you any tips about this or I missed something, make sure you ask below uh, in the comments. And if you need any parts I'm using on this or in this build or video, make sure you check for links in the description to purchase those parts. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.